Hey everyone, I'm the Web of Funkos. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. It's super nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to take the time to show you all of my autographed Spider Man and related Funko Pops that I have in my collection. So let's check it out. The first Spider Man related pop that I got signed is, in fact, this one signed by Andrew Garfield. Now, at the time, I was wanting to make sure I got these encapsulated here in this case by PSA. I love the fact that it's in case because on the label, you can see his name and it's also graded there at the top with the grade of a nine. I didn't do this for all of them, but I love this autograph by Andrew Garfield. Super grateful to have this one in the collection and I hope to get the other live action Spider-Mans added to my collection in the future. The next pop that I have signed in the collection is this Green Goblin signed by Willem Dafoe himself. This one's also encapsulated in the PSA case and graded at 8.5 because it doesn't look like the signature says Willem Dafoe. At the time, I thought it'd be best to have the label at the top. Why? I honestly don't have a reason, but I hold this one near and dear to my heart. Green Goblin is in fact my all-time favorite villain from Spider-Man. I know the debate of Venom being the best, but you can't tell me Willem Dafoe's performance as Green Goblin was not a perfect 10 out of 10. Now, the next signature is unique and not what you would expect. It's not signed by a celebrity or a voice actor. In fact, it's signed by a prior Marvel comic illustrator, and it's this Spider-Man pop signed by Sam De La Rosa. I met him at a convention and he signed the side here in silver and illustrated this pop as well and drew Spider-Man here on the side. He used some very nice paint pens or something. I'm not super familiar with the artist terms, but I in fact love this one. It is the only pop in my collection that I have that has some type of illustration or drawings on it. So it's very custom and one of one and unique to me. Now this next one is my favorite signed Funko Pop of all time, and not because of the signature itself or a crazy pin color, but the unforgettable experience I had with this person, and that is Naji Jetter. He signed this Miles Morales, and it is the Miles from the PlayStation video games. We had such a long, amazing conversation that I promise I'll never forget just a heart to heart talking about my aspirations, his aspirations, and so much more. We probably sat there and talked for about five, maybe 10 minutes at this convention where I met him. And to top it all off, a couple months after I met him, I went to San Diego Comic Con, which this was last year, and I saw him again, and he remembered me. Of course, without the mask, but that man is just incredible. That experience, I won't forget. He meets so many people. And the fact that he recognized me, pointed it out, and we almost picked up the same conversation that we previously had from months before that. The next pop I want to show off also is super unique, and it is signed by Sam Raimi himself. This is the Tobey Maguire No Way Home Spider-Man pop. But Sam Raimi is the director of the original movie. So he directed Spider-Man 1, 2, and Spider-Man 3. And it was a pleasure meeting him. He was extremely personable and nice. The most memorable part of meeting him was talking about how many people get pop signed. And I actually showed him the entire wall and my entire collection. This man was absolutely amazed and said he had never seen anyone have as many Spider-Man and Spider-Man related pops as I do. Now, this next pop I got signed. Unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to meet this person in person. However, it is signed by Christopher Daniel Barnes. He voiced Spider-Man in the original animated series and it's signed in a very bright orange color and the front does say your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I love this one because I grew up watching this series as a child. 
All right, this time I actually do have two pops in my hand and you're probably wondering why, but they are both signed by the same person and that is Shamik Moore. I got him to sign both of these Miles Morales pops since he voiced Miles in the movie, starting with this Into the Spider-Verse version of Miles Morales, which was the first one, and Across the Spider-Verse Miles Morales, the second movie. I met Shamik Moore in person, and this one I got signed literally about a week after the movie came out, and so I was super excited, and that's what enticed me to get both of these signed. Shamik was a very fun spirit to really meet. I took a photo op with him as well, so I do have that picture, but I will say this Into the Spider-Verse version of Miles as a pop is my favorite Miles Morales pop. And for the Across the Spider-Verse pop, I wanted to get my favorite quote. So I picked out anyone can wear the mask. And when Shamik asked me what quote I wanted, he was extremely happy and thrilled to hear that was the quote that I chose to get on this pop. Now, since we're talking about Miles Morales, the next pop I want to show is this Spider-Gwen signed by Haley Steinfeld, the voice of Spider-Gwen from the Across the Spider-Verse movies. I got this one signed literally about two weeks after the Miles Morales. She signed it in purple, which is my favorite color. And now I have the Miles and the Spider-Gwen that can literally go side by side next to each other in my collection. And that simply makes my heart really happy. Just having that essential set pairing and nothing can beat a great pair as a collector. And since we're talking about Gwen, I do in fact have another signed Gwen, but not Haley Steinfeld. This one is signed by Bryce Dallas Howard. I didn't get to meet her in person either, but I got this one online from Seven Bucks a Pop when they were selling them in their signature series. This one is limited to 100 pieces, and that makes it feel even more special to me, just having that limited piece count and knowing that she didn't sign very many of these. And Bryce Dallas Howard did play Gwen Stacy in the live-action Spider-Man 3 movie that did feature Tobey Maguire. I do, in fact, have another pop from a Spider-Man video game sign, and this time it's Peter Parker signed by Yuri Lowenthal. I got this one last year at San Diego Comic-Con. Before they even put them on their website, I had the opportunity to meet him in person and get him to sign this pop. It's limited to 140 pieces. Seven bucks a pop since I got it signed at the booth. Did put their sticker on the front still. He was such a nice guy. Actually, at that convention, he was right next to Najee Jetter. So again, here is another duo, another pair of pops that I have in my collection that will be sitting side by side and go perfect together. And if you didn't know, Yuri Lowenthal does voice Peter Parker, a.k.a. your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man in the PlayStation video games made by Insomniac. And last but certainly not least, this is my second favorite signed Spider-Man pop aside from the Najee Jeter Miles Morales. This is Peter Parker from No Way Home, but signed by Marissa Tommy. And she actually signed the side of the pop here. The front does say, with great power comes great responsibility. Her infamous quote right before she passed away in the movie. She was such a nice person to meet. Had a blast talking to her and getting the opportunity to meet her. I actually just created a video about that. So if you haven't seen it, please go check that one out after you finish this one. Of course, Marissa Tommy played Aunt May in the Tom Holland trilogy movies. And why Funko hasn't made an Aunt May pop thus far is truly beyond me. But I thought this pop would still be the next best thing to get signed. I definitely love my sign collection so far. However, I'm a long way from being through and have dreams to get three more signed. The first by Tom Holland and I could honestly just have him sign anything and I would be happy. The next by Tobey Maguire. That way, hopefully I'd have all three 
and be able to put the Tom Holland, the Toby, and the Andrew next to each other. And the third pop I would love to have signed would be a Venom pop by Tony Todd, who voices Venom in the movies, the video games, and the cartoons. Thank you so much for watching this video and letting me show you my signed Spider-Man and related Funko Pops. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like for me to make. Hit that subscribe button and until next time, I'm out of here.